Last week, Jason asked us that great question about why do we believe what we believe? This week, I want to drill down on the second half of his question. What do we believe? In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, Paul puts this out there. He says, All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we're wrong and it teaches us to do what's right. God used it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. Today I kind of want to specifically zero in on what I would call qualifiers. People that qualify the truth of the Bible. You know, oh, I believe the Bible. The Bible is God's word. But there's that story about X or Y that, you know, did that really happen? I don't know. But that to me is wrong. That, that's our faith. That's our God. Anytime we do that to scripture, we are taking perceived power away from God. We're putting ourselves and our understanding against the almighty God of the universe. Uh, my wife and I are spending time in Genesis right now, just starting there and just digging through that. And uh, I mean, even in the opening chapters of Genesis, you know, people often debate, what well, did creation really happen in seven days? Or is that just, you know, just a, a metaphor? My question is, does it really make a difference? If God is all powerful and can do anything, I believe he could create the world in seven days. But my takeaway from the creation story is that I believe in a God who says he's going to do something. And then that's exactly what happens. Because I've seen that play out in the whole entire Bible. You could go to Genesis 3, the fall of man. A talking snake, a fruit, a tree. People all the time. How could, how could that happen? How could that? You know what? doesn't matter. It tells me so much about the human condition. I learn about male passivity because Adam was right there and did nothing to stop his wife. I learn about people and the way we pass the blame to each other. And, and once we can't blame each other, then we blame God that it was his fault because he gave us the thing that made us sin. I also learn about sin, that it separates us from God and that God loves us enough to, to find a way to remedy that sin. Genesis 3, first time blood was shed, cover man's sin. God made clothes out of animal cloths for Adam and Eve to help them reconcile their sin. And he does that all throughout the Bible. And what Paul is saying here is that we need to look at all these accounts in the Bible and treat them with the truth that they deserve. Our God is all powerful and can do anything. I mean, that's a, that's a, a faith struggle right there. If if you're drawing a line somewhere in the Bible and saying, yeah, you know what, I really don't believe that one, but I'll kind of go along with it. Where does it end? If, 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 if one thing in here isn't true, you could say the resurrection isn't true. And then what good is all this? What good is all the things we believe? And one thing that occurred to me while I was, while I was looking through this, Paul is saying this. All scripture is inspired God, by God and useful to teach us what is true and make us realize what's wrong. What have we been doing the whole time here in 2 Timothy? We've been doing just that, using Paul's words to guide us and help us figure out how to apply that in our life. And I think this is so awesome. And this to me is where uh, you, you, uh, the Bible could only be true because as Paul was saying this, the words of this letter weren't even scripture at that time. And now they are, and we're doing exactly what he described. So I want to challenge you this week, man. Uh, what really do you believe? Do you believe this book? And if so, man, we should be using it just like he says to, to point out ways that we can do better. Sure, we're going to fall short. But God is speaking to each one of us through every single word of this book. It's so fascinating. And I just encourage you, just keep digging in deeper and deeper to what's going on in here and getting the full story. And every time you read through it, you're going to learn something new. And maybe uh, try a translation you've never tried before and get a little different view. Um, that's what I want to encourage us with. It's just that scripture is true and we need to push ourselves to apply it to our life every day. We'll see you next week on Wednesday Wisdom.